G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Sunday afternoon here in Australia, market's down ever so slightly, so down 1.4%, down to $2.17 trillion. So Bitcoin down just a little bit, was up around that kind of $48,000 mark and has dropped down below. So again, everything's just, uh, it's in a bit of a chop soaring motion at the moment. It'll be up one day, down the next uh, particularly Bitcoin not really going uh, anywhere, which is why the altcoins are firing off so much. But at some stage, if Bitcoin makes a big move, then the other things will follow. The problem is if Bitcoin makes a big move to the upside, the altcoins, their liquidity will drain a little bit. They'll still go up, but Bitcoin will drain a lot of that liquidity. And then again, the problem is if Bitcoin goes down, well, then the altcoins drop down by a whole lot as well. So that's what we need to remember. All right, Bitcoin dominance still sitting above 61%, uh, not too bad. So again, uh, it's not really a Bitcoin or an altcoin season too much at the moment. Some altcoins are firing, but not too many are going super crazy like we would see in a real altcoin season. You know, things doubling and tripling in a matter of sort of weeks. We have the odd coins that will, you know, go up 40, 50% in sort of 24 hours, but you can almost guarantee 24 hours later they've lost a lot of that as well. So it's more chop soaring action at the moment than anything. Volume down a little bit. Again, to be expected, it's the weekend. Gas prices about $3.55 uh, for Ethereum. Again, not great, but not horrible either. All right, the top 100. What's performed the best in the last 24 hours? So as we can see, Adam up 12%, Solana uh, making a move again, but again, Solana was like 200 and something, went down to about 134, I think it was, uh, only 24 hours ago, and so it's up today. Again, so things are just chop soaring all over the place. We don't have any real direction, and you can almost guarantee any of these coins uh, within 24 to 48 hours will probably then be in the red. They are generally keeping you know, at least a little bit of their gains, but they are losing a reasonable amount of those gains as well. Hence why I said more chop soaring sort of action. But considering the market is down 1.4%, what, you know, what's the biggest, uh, I don't want to say losers, but anyway, I don't know how else to say it really. What hasn't performed as well in the last 24 hours? Actually, not too bad. So there we go. Shiba Inu. Again, that was pumping just the other day. I mean, look, this got up to an... Uh, that's safe moon I was thinking of. But Shiba Inu had a nice pump due to being listed on Coinbase. And now we can see in 24 hours lost a bit. Avalanche down, Synthetics, Polygon. Again, all of these coins were pumping literally just the other day. Or, you know, they were in the green as opposed to pumping. And now they're having a loss. So that is really where the market is at at the moment. It's just chopping all over the place. No real direction. And that's because Bitcoin still leads the market. Like it or not, it really does. If Bitcoin is just kind of going sideways, you've got altcoins that all, you know, uh, kind of go sideways. But when people really aren't sure of the market... Again, the gains you make in your altcoins, you can almost guarantee in a few hours later that they've lost a few of those as well. So just something we need to remember. Bitcoin though, still not too far off that upwards trending channel that it's been in for a long time, so I'm not overly worried. And it is ever so slowly making its way up, but that $50,000 barrier seems to be a really hard barrier for it to try and break at the moment. So. It might take us a while to kind of get up there, and we're really just waiting on news. As I said yesterday, there's a lot of FUD and there's an attack on crypto at the moment, but it is quite strange how fast that can all change. We might wake up sort of Monday morning, uh, stateside time, which will be sort of uh, Monday evening here in Australia, and then all of a sudden there's some positive news and that's it, the market's off to the races. Or vice versa, we get some even you know more bad news and then it starts to drop down. But at the moment, again, 46-ish thousand, 49,000, that's really kind of where Bitcoin has been for a while. Uh, and again, it's just in this chop soaring motion. Now what I'm going to do today is I want to bring you uh, a coin that I've uh, been a fan of for a long time. And this is one of my, uh, yeah, I would call it a low cap mid coin, uh, not a mid coin, a low cap uh, coin that I purchased. Now, 
What it is, is Secret Network. So I don't know if you've heard of them before, but basically what it is, is Secret Network is the first blockchain with data privacy by default, allowing you to build and use applications that are both permissionless and privacy preserving. This unique functionality protects users, secures applications, and unlocks hundreds of never before use cases for Web3. So Web3 is where we're heading. And the thing you need to remember about the blockchain is it's all public at the moment. And we, we want a public blockchain, but when they say public, all the information is there. Every single part of the history of where that coin's been and where it's come from and everything else that's also attached, uh, every transaction. Sometimes you don't want all the information from your transactions. Like let's say you go uh, and order a cab if you use cryptocurrency, that is the, all the information is going to be attached. When you spent that, where the cab was sent to, where the cab uh, dropped you off, that kind of information you don't want people to know. Are you happy for someone to know that you caught a cab at that time? Particularly again, you know, tax and all the rest of it. Sure, absolutely. But do they have to know where you were picked up from, where you went from, the exact time you were picked up from, the exact time you were dropped off? and all that kind of information? No, and that's what Secret Network is about. It's not some, uh, it's not like Monero and things like that where it's just basically trying to hide everything. It's just a network that is not going to, is gonna ensure that any transactions you don't do on the block, no extra information that you don't want passed on is passed on. So it's not Monero and things like that. Uh, a really good project that I am a big fan of and been of a part and have been an investor sort of for a while that's what i consider all this investing now what is secret network so secret network was born out of enigma so that was the old coin eng and that was an erc20 secret network is actually part of uh, cosmos and we'll get into that so secret network was born out of enigma a startup that developed the concept of decentralized protocol for secret smart contracts and again it's not completely off chain and trying to hide everything it's just hiding the extra bits of information that you don't need everybody to know it doesn't completely hide the transaction at all that's not what it's about it's not a privacy coin it's a network that provides privacy for all the extra bits and pieces that you don't need people to know about. So Enigma raised 45 million in 2017 uh, initial coin offering, but faced enforcement from the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. In 2020, they settled. Uh, there was a forced settlement with the SEC. So ultimately, the community around Enigma decided to continue that vision as an independent decentralized project. So Enigma's not really running anymore. Now, which is how the current version of Secret Network was born. The swap allowed holders for Enigma's Ethereum-based ENG token to trade one for one for Secret, so SCRT, the native coin of Secret Network used for governance and paying fees. Enigma remains involved as one of the key players of the community supporting the development of the Secret Network. So Enigma's not completely dead, but you know people aren't really using that coin too much. They've generally all moved over to Secret Network. Now, if you want to go over to secretswap.io, this is how you can change your Enigma tokens into Secret Network. Now, I don't know if it's still going at the moment. I'd, you'd have to go and have a look. I'm sure it is, considering it's still here. And this is what I did quite some time ago. So you come over, just uh, you know, read the instructions and follow that, and that's how you can change your ENG, Enigma tokens. Now, again, they are an Ethereum token, and then you are going to change them into a Cosmos tokens so just don't try and send them back to uh, an ethereum address that will really mess things up so secret network is a blockchain that enables privacy centric smart contracts so the contracts uh, are, are smart contracts and they have secret elements to it again it's not a privacy coin though the secret contracts are computed by nodes within a trusted execution environment such contracts allow transparent blockchains to safely safely handle sensitive data again it's the extra information when we say public blockchain everything is there you can follow the transaction of what you know your coin all the way back to its infancy sometimes you don't need all that information uh, going around then people can come back to your wallet and start to see you know when the transaction came in uh, when it was going out and that's really none of anyone's business you making the transaction, and again, for tax resources and things like that, 
absolutely no worries not a problem and that will still show up in the network but all the other information around that coin is not for public uh, information again certain agencies will be able to come and look at it and things like that you can provide them access to that but for everybody else again the full public they don't need to have all the information particularly about your privacy uh, which is what this is about so blockchain technology provides a beneficial layer of openness and transparency that current centralized networks cannot but some private data isn't meant to be shared publicly hence what secret networks about how many people want to use a network that shares their financial details and identifying information to everyone no that's not what we want we want to be able to do all that and there be a ledger that shows that we've made transactions but outside of that no one needs any further information that's the issue that secret network aims to solve by enabling programmable smart contracts that run on blockchain to compute with trusted execution environments shielding the data from the nodes themselves secret network promises the transparent benefits of blockchain with the kind of security and privacy that uses demand from web services now we can go down here secret network is a layer one blockchain with its own consensus and on-chain governance built on top of the cosmos and tendermint framework so again you go over here change your eng which is an ethereum an erc20 coin into secret network you can't then send it back to an ethereum address i use the kepler wallet as you can see up here uh, and that's where i store mine and do all my staking you can get onto youtube and there's videos about that but that's what i use all right we go over here secret network so on twitter you can see there's 93,000 people following so that is uh that's a reasonable amount now again this is number i think 205 uh so it is a low kappa but it is growing in popularity ever so i won't say slowly because it's not growing slowly but it's still yeah it's a low kappa so what i say to everyone is i'm never offering you financial advice ever i'm not saying to run out and jump and buy this at the moment or that it's at the best price but it's a low kappa if you know we go into this big crazy sort of thing who knows what this coin could do but for me i'm in this for the long haul i like what secret network's about i like the team a whole again i like the idea of having transactions where not every single bit of information is made public where everybody can look at it that is what i like about it go over here so the secret network ecosystem upgrade so august saw the announcement of supernova the first mainnet upgrade since the launch of secret contracts in september 2020 bringing ibc comp compatibility and more so the secret monero bridge is out there on the mainnet band protocol integration and other secret grants and much more so ibc part of uh interplay interconnectability on the blockchain so again all these uh different blockchains being able to work together and not kind of being siloed now we can go down here supernova introduces our integration for ibc sorry integration finally connecting secret network with blockchains across the cosmos ecosystem in addition with their bridges to ethereum binance smart chain monero terra polka dot and more ibc allows uh, secret to be used in cross-chain cosmos applications such as such as on the osmosis and the gravity decks which is coming gravity deck sounds really good i have spoke about that before it's basically a dex where you can exchange coins that aren't all on the same chain so again things like uh again an ethereum chain with something on the terra chain uh, and vice versa and provides privacy features to the entire cosmos ecosystem again we don't want all our information out there now something very interesting so the shinobi protocol today we are excited to announce that shinobi protocol has been deployed on the testnet shinobi is a direct bridge between bitcoin users and secret network unlock unlocking privacy and secret DeFi for bitcoin now bitcoin is leaning towards privacy but they don't have it at the moment you make a transaction uh, with bitcoin all the information was there when you sent that uh your wallet address uh when it came uh into your wallet address again all the information is there that's how public blockchain works we want some of that to be public to everybody and then other parts we don't want uh public 
So with hash, mm. excuse me, with a hash verification system, Shinobi protocol avoids the traditional direct custodial model by instead being a privacy secured trustless bridge. So that's what we want. We don't want centralized entities having to change coins over and things like that because then you got to ch- trust that that centralized uh, agency doesn't have any issues. This is a trustless bridge where you're not having to trust one centralized kind of entity. Now, Secret Network, this is where we can see how its price has been doing. It had a real big pump up. Sorry, that'll be right. Got to $5.20 something, about $5.27, something like that. And then we can see it's obviously slowed down. This is the big pump where everything was going crazy. Here's the sell-off. It had a big basing. And now we are up to, I think it's around about to just under three dollars at the moment so again i'm not saying this is the best price but if we're getting ready to go into a big move i think it's probably going to be easily it's easily going to eclipse its old all-time high but that's not financial advice and again i'm more an investor will i take some profits absolutely but i got more i was really lucky i bought enigma And I think I was getting it for 30 cents or something like that, 27 cents, even cheaper than that. I think I got it for 16 to 30 cents, changed it over to Secrets. I really did get it at a good price considering it's now sitting at around about $3 thereabouts. So it's basically a 10x from where I bought it. But from $3 to $5 to get back to its old all-time high is nearly a double, not quite let alone where it might go. In the last run, Enigma, I bought at $0.33 cents and that went up to $8 something at the absolute peak. So again, never financial advice. Don't just simply get into this because you think it's a, a good easy flip. There's no guarantees. I like what the project is actually about and I'm a long-term hodler. Will I sell some, take some profits? Absolutely. But I like what this entire thing is about. So that's sort of secret net, net, network in a nutshell. I'm not going to go into too much more information. If you want to go and have a look at it, do so. I think it's at a okay price at the moment. Could it come down a little bit? Absolutely. It's had a big pump, particularly in the last sort of 24 hours or so. So just get on the charts and have a look and then you make your own mind up. But long term, this is something that I'm going to hodl. Again, I definitely will take some profits. I make no qualms about that. I will get my money back eventually. Hopefully. Again, I haven't sold anything yet. But long term, I really like what Secret Network's about. You go out there, do some research for yourself. You can't just take my word for it. Look at the whole history of Enigma as well. And that, you know, they were started by guys from MIT. That's who originally started Enigma. And they're, they're pretty smart people who come out of MIT generally. And then they had the thing with the SEC. And then they had to, uh, they wanted to change over to a more decentralized system. And again, still the same process. They wanted to make sure that, you know, there were, smart contracts that weren't just releasing all that information once you get all that down then you can make your own decision about it but i'm a big fan stay safe be kind to one another hopefully you're all on that game train and i'll see you next time